Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface, part of TGN, Total Gaming Network. And this is the penultimate part of the Rare Elite Guide, and I've taken us to Valley of the Four Winds today. And first up, we've got Bonaboss. And Bonaboss chills out in Pauquan Hollow, and he's a little bit like Ferdinand from the Jade Forest. He has multiple spawn points within Pauquan Hollow itself, but is static in nature, so he won't go wandering around. Now, I found him down at the bottom of a tree, chilling out in a few places. So do have a little look-see. Now, next up, we have a mantid. And this area, as you can see, is absolutely swarming full of the mantid. And when I do discover him in a moment, a little bit worse for wear because he's dead. But um, it also brings up a point where, where people have said to me, why don't you just use NPC scan? Won't that be easier for people? Well, I personally am not a big fan of NPC scan because once you find a, a rare elite, it caches it. So next time you fly over, if that rare elite's there, it could it won't go off if it's cached. You have to keep emptying the cache for it to be active again. And I just find that a bit of a ball ache. It doesn't integrate well. So if I know where all the rare elites are, I know where I can start looking and I'm happy. So that's why I personally don't use NPC scan. Now next up, we've got John Dar, which chills out here in the ruins, which is right next to Nessingwary Safari. Static rarely, won't move, and he's a terracotta warrior. So will always spawn as a statue and won't do anything until you aggressively attack it. Now if you're lucky, he drops an item, which is a trinket, and it'll allow you to spawn a terracotta warrior to come to your aid and help you bash stuff for a while. It's a... Uh, you know, I'd say more a vanity trinket than a helpful trinket. But here we go. We've got Black Hoof up number four. And he, he's outside Stormstout Brewery. Again, he's got multiple spawn points. And whenever I've seen him in different areas, he's always whacking the carcass of a dead Mushan. So I think that's what turns him on. I think that's his MO. So all those dead Mushan, the ones that are killed by the game, not the ones that are killed by players that are lying outside the front of Stormstout Brewery. Possibly use those as your reference points when banging around to try and find him. Now, next up, we have, I think it's Shulik Shuraw. And very, very important rare elite, this one. Because it drops an item that when you use it, it's not a trinket, just when you use it, it will add 500 to all of your stats. The only, well, the only clause is it will act as both a guardian and a battle elixir, but it's got as many uses as you want, so that's excellent. And going from one really good item to another, we're looking now for a Jinyun called Selena, and there they are. And Selena drops an item which is usable by every single class apart from a druid. And the reason why is because if you use the item dropped by Selena, it will act like the symbiosis spell that druids use. So if I was to use the item on myself, I would get refresh or renew. I would actually get a hot. So I'd have a warlock with all my dots and all my hots now, which would be very interesting. But the ability depends, obviously, on what class you are. Now, number seven, we have Salian War Scout. And Salian War Scout is a wanderer. It will go up and down the banks here. And literally, virtually the, all the way down to the Silken Fields. You see where that biggish island is in the middle of the river? It will swim across there. And then it will walk down the other side of the bank. And then back to where we see it now. That's its end point here. So there we go. So that's seven out of the eight. And we've got a final one to come. Don't worry about Silian War Scout though. Very easy to spot because he's big and red. So you'll know when you come across him, don't worry. And finally, we have Nasra Spothide, and she's relaxing in this little pagoda which links the Jade Forest to Valley of the Four Winds. And that's all eight of the Rare Elite, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I shall be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.